Hey everyone, in this video we're briefly going to talk about what's called initial value problems. So initial value problems. I just want to explain the concept behind them and what they mean. So IVP is an easy way to abbreviate initial value problem. Let's do two examples. So example one. Say we have a differential equation, so dy dx and it's equal to some stuff over here on the right hand side with x's and y's. So to indicate that, I'm going to write f of x comma y. So all this means is that we have some stuff with x's and y's. That's all that notation means, okay? So like x plus y, etc. x squared plus sine y, etc. Just stuff with x and y. And then we have a condition y of x sub 0 equals y sub 0. This is called an initial condition. So initial condition. And typically um, I, I like to abbreviate it as IC. So that's our IC. It's our initial condition. So what does this mean graphically? Well if you solve a differential equation you know most of the time you get like you know x squared plus you know c or something like that. You get a constant. In this case you would get one arbitrary constant. So you might get like you know, infinitely many solutions. So something like this, and then something like this, and something like this. One for each choice of C, right? You have infinitely many solutions. And so what's happening here is that this initial condition, well, what does this mean? This means that the X coordinate is X naught and the Y coordinate is Y naught. So this means that your solution passes through this point. So what it's doing is it's picking a particular solution from the infinitely many solutions. So like maybe it's picking this one. So this red graph here, this, this would be the solution to the IVP. So whenever you have one arbitrary constant in your solution, you have, whenever you have a one parameter family, to find a particular solution, you would need one initial condition. In this case, the initial condition tells us graphically that our solution passes through the point. So we have infinitely many solutions and then we're picking a particular one, right? Maybe that's where the name particular comes from, right? Because once you use this, you're going to find your C. So you'll get something like y equals, I'm just making this up, but x squared plus 4, let's say. So that might be your answer. So this is called a particular solution because it has no C's. So that's, that's an initial value problem. Here's another example. Say we had dy dx equal to, now, um, actually, let me do a second derivative here, there we go, equal to some stuff with x, y, and the first derivative. So now we have an order two differential equation. So x, y, and then the first derivative. So this is just some stuff with x, y, and the first derivative. Um, so now we need two initial conditions, maybe y of x sub 0 equals y sub 0, and then y prime of x sub 0 equals y sub 1, okay, equals y sub 1. So now again, say we have, you know, infinitely many solutions, you know, something like this, right? And then what this does is, it, it obviously it picks the one that passes through, through x naught, y naught, so it picks that one. So maybe that would be this one here. So it would pick that one. But not only that, it, it guarantees that the slope at this point uh, is, is this, right? This is the slope. So the slope is y1. So the slope of this tangent line is, is y1. So the slope of the function or the tangent line at that point is equal to that. So this requires two things, right? It passes through this point and it has this particular slope at that point. So. Uh, and in this case, if like if you were to solve this DE, maybe it would be something like, I'm just going to make this up, C1 e to the x plus C2 x squared, which is totally making this up. So you'd have two Cs, and so you would, you would have to use both of these conditions uh, to find both Cs. And when you do that, you would get the particular solution. So in this case, the particular solution uh, would, be, would be that right there. So... Um, I hope that made sense. Uh, I'm going to make another video uh, showing you uh, a little bit more how to, how to actually find the C's and stuff like that. That's it.